Okay, good evening everyone and uh, my name is Valencia Somersault and this is my Kibli Wiki that I created. Um, I, if you're hearing some background noise, I apologize. I don't know what it is. I'm in a very, very quiet room. Okay, so hopefully the noise has uh, decreased. So let's go on. So um, the Kibli Wiki, this project that I created, it's an interactive game and it's called Anspire. It's a game I created and it's surviving New York City streets. Now, it's a story about an ant trying to make it home in time to be reunited with his family. Now, the protagonist of this game is an ant and um, users will be interacting with this game using by reading and um, using the buttons. Now on each page, each of the each of the tiddler at the bottom, there will be two buttons. It says quit this stupid game or restart. So in addition to this project, I also created another project of uh, the Hawking project, but there's no there, there's no relationship to this program. So are you ready to have some fun? So we're gonna go through this game. So the first thing is the button, it says, okay, I don't have anything else going on, and this will take you to the beginning of the game. So we're gonna click it. And the first thing it's gonna ask me, it says, okay, great. Please enter your name. So I'm gonna enter my name, Olympia. Click continue, and it says to confirm my name. It's saying, are you sure your name is Ward Hart? Obviously, that is not my name. So there are two options. It says, no, we enter my name, or sure, why not? Let's try no, we enter my name. It says, okay, let's re-enter, try re-entering your name. I'm going to re-enter my name once again, and let's see what it says. Oh, what parts? Welcome. That's not my name. Okay, so let's begin. So here we are at the beginning of the game. It says you're an ant living in New York City, where everything and everyone seems like giants, obviously. You just got separated from your family of four in a train station. The train door closes unexpectedly and you are left on the platform along with a few passengers whom you are constantly trying to avoid being smashed by. You wave to your family as the train leaves the station, but you know the next train will not arrive for the next 15 minutes, which is like 10 hours in your world. So you decide to exit the train station, follow the path to the next block zone, where there's another train station that always has a train leaving every minute. All to get home and be reunited with your family. It says, go on, let's go on. Continue with the story. And it says, enter 34th Street. So, this is 34th Street. This is the R. So, you are now on 34th Street. On your left is a busy street filled with taxi, buses, car, van, construction. And on your right is a sidewalk with conquest. It should be conquest, pedestrians, roadside entertainers, and street sellers. You know that if you try to cross the street, you will surely get crushed, but the subway is on the other side of the street, so you have to cross the street. How do you get across the street? Okay, there's three options. Let's do it. Let's make a run for it. Move on pedestrian crossing. Grab onto someone's hands. Let's try the first one. Screw it. Let's make a run for it. Really? Okay, you run across the street, missing the wheels of the bus, now, coming out of the bus station, you run straight under the wheels of an Uber driver. The impact, of course, kills you. I'm sorry, you're dead. That's game over. Let's try it again. Okay, takes us back to 34th Street. Let's try the second. Move on the pedestrian crossing to be. That's good move. So you cross with the pedestrian crossing. All you need to do is avoid the giant shoes. You're halfway there, and that feeling very, and you're feeling very good about yourself and you're proud of your progress. But oh no, just as you got, you just got squashed by a six-year-old boy's foot, oh boy, and game over. So let's try the third option. Grab onto someone's pants. Okay, so you grab onto someone's pants, but his foot in the streets are like huge earthquakes. But still, you hold on until you reach the other side of the road. So yeah. Finally, let's continue. Great, you made it across the street. Now you're walking on the sidewalk. It's rush hour and there are many types of sizes of feet you need to avoid. You move forward going through the crowd of adults and kids. 
moving left and right. You managed to avoid a big shoe. But uh-oh, you're approaching a group of kids and you know you have to go through them to keep moving. After all, you only have one minute to reach the station. So you decide to go through the crowd of kids, barely missing the bottom of their sneakers. You breathe a sigh of relief because you can now see the train station in the distance. But what happens next? With all that walking, you realize that you are hungry. You use your antenna to smell food around the corner at the deli, so you move past the street singers and turn into a dark alley. But you don't care because you're following your antenna. So you keep going, even though you cannot see anything in front of you. You hear a rustle in the corner, but you assume it was a homeless person. But was it? No, because that song is too scratchy for a person moving and moving too fast and if it was as if as if it was following you you decide to test your theory and stop walking the noise stops okay you start walking again the scratchy starts again you continue this several times and it's the same result so you decide to run run as fast as you can to get to the food to the dumpster and get the hell out of there but what happened next? Leave you questioning if it is all worth it. Is it worth it to see your family again? Oh my God, what has happened? Oh, let's see if this is stupid. This is, a, this is stupid. Let's take that. Oh, I know it's stupid, but you got nothing going on now, so you might as well just see what happened to the end. Okay, then, continue. Oh no. Well, you finally got to the dumpster. But something was inside there. You walk up the side and then inside the dumpster. It was big and filled with all kinds of goodies. Wow. You can, you can feed your entire company with all the food for a year and still have leftovers. But you know you can't take all this food to them. So you take the crumb from the bread and a tiny piece of ham and start to make your way out. Whatever other animal was in there, you thought, will not be having an for desert. So you're out of the dumpster, walking back to the sidewalk, when the scratchy noise starts again. Only this time you can see and smell what it is. Rat. Oh no. Why did it have to be rat? But no time to think because they're now chasing after you. You start running as fast as you can. Run, run. They're getting closer because you can feel their breath on your back. Run. Run, run, the sidewalk is getting closer. Keep going. You're almost there. Yes! You made it to the sidewalk and you know the rats will not follow because of all the people walking. Now all you need to do is survive being squashed. Yeah, that should be easy. Is this ever going to end? So you're back on the sidewalk, moving through the crowd, and suddenly a raindrop splash next to you, and you look up to see a storm is coming. You know you have to get shelter, because one raindrop is like a tsunami that can kill you. You look for a place of refuge, to your right, a garbage bin, construction blocks, and of course traffic. To the left, a shopping mall with more people that can potentially kill you. So you have choices. You can stay on your path, make a run for it to the subway, take shelter in one of the malls, or hide next to the garbage bin. What do you do? Let's try the shopping mall. Maybe that's a good idea. You run into the shopping mall where you find a corner at the door to wait for the rain to stop. But oh no, the rain becomes a thunderstorm and lasts for half an hour, and you miss your train. Sorry. Game over. Try again. Let's try the garbage bin. Great idea. You hide next to the bin, but the rain comes down heavier and there was a flood and you die. Game over. Let's try again. Let's try it. Stay on path. The least obvious choice seems to be the best. You decide to continue on your path, running faster, moving left, right, with your food still stuck to you. And to your surprise, you didn't die. Oh, great. Continue. 
finally you made it to the subway you run to the platform your train has been in the station for over one minute because of delay but oh no the doors are closing and you are still 10 feet away you decide to keep running your food your food gets loose and fall off but you can't stop so you keep going run run you're almost there then by some miracle you made it you made it and you will see your family again you made it and you're still alive but no food maybe there's still some pumps left you use your antenna to check but there is nothing all the food is gone but as you check for the food you realize something is wrong something is not right so you use one of your legs and antenna to check your back you figure out what is wrong in your efforts to get the train you lost one of your wings oh no maybe it got ripped off when the train doors were closing oh no you lost one of your wings wait a minute you lost one of your wings wait a minute you had wings all this time oh what a load of crap well yeah it is but tell me you didn't enjoy this adventure do you want to play again and so the user can decide no once is enough says okay then i hope you enjoy this simple interactive game that i created thank you for playing or if we want to try again say sure why not and it takes us back to the top so let's also see what happens if we quit this stupid game let's quit this stupid game and it says well i'm sorry you didn't enjoy the game but i worked really hard on it oh well thank you for playing and then if you wanted to restart it takes you back to the introduction so this is my game um that's called and fiverr my interactive game i hope i wasn't too long and i hope you enjoyed it so thank you so very much for listening so bye